All right, so number 10, we're going to multiply by our common denominator in order to get rid of the fractions. In this case, we have a 2 and a 4, so we're going to multiply everything times 4. This is all one term. I'm going to take that times 4. This is one term. I'm taking that times 4. And the 23, I'm going to take times 4, since that's one term. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cancel. 2 goes into 4 two times, and I'm going to multiply it by the top of that fraction, the 7x plus 4 equals. Here, 4 goes into 4 one time, so technically I'm taking 1 times the top of that fraction, 9x plus 16. Plus, on the end, I have to take the 23 times the 4, since there's not a fraction, I can't do any canceling, and I'm going to get 92 there. So using my distributive property, 2 times 7x would be 14x, 2 times 4 is plus 8, equals 1 times 9x is 9x, 1 times 16 is 16, and then I have that plus 92 on the end. The left-hand side only has two terms. We can't combine anything, but the right-hand side has three terms, which tells me I can put some stuff together. I'm going to add my numbers together. I'm not changing any signs because they're not moving to a different side of the equation. I'm just combining them. So 14x plus 8 is going to equal 9x plus, if I add those together, I'm going to get 108. 16 plus 92. Now I have one of those equations where I've got both a variable and a number on each side. Usually I like to move my variables to the left, my numbers to the right. So this is going to the opposite side. I'm going to subtract my 9x. This is going over to the opposite side. I'm going to subtract my 8. 14x minus 9x is 5x. 108 minus 8 would be 100. My last step, dividing by that coefficient of 5. So x is going to equal 20. On all of these ones, you should get a nice whole number answer. If it's coming out to a fraction answer, there's probably a mistake somewhere in the problem. Go back and check your work. So on this one, we just got x equal 20. All right, so the next one. We've got those fractions. We want to get rid of the fractions. We're going to multiply by 20. 20. So I'm going to times 20 here, I'm going to times 20 here, and I'm going to times 20 on the end. And then I'm going to do some canceling. So 5 goes into 20 four times. So I'm going to take 4 times that 4x minus 2. Then I have this minus sign. 4 goes into 20 five times. So I have minus 5 times x minus 8. So that sign in between came down and then when I divide it I have my number there. And on the other side 6 times 20 must be about 120, right? So on this one we've got parentheses, two sets of parentheses that we have to get rid of. 4 times 4x would be 16x. 4 times minus 2 is minus 8. Negative 5 times x is negative 5x. Negative 5 times a negative 8 is a positive 40 to equal my 120. I've got four terms over on that left side. Tells me I can put some stuff together, right? I can put my x's together, I can put my numbers together. So 16 minus 5 would give me 11x. Wouldn't that be adding if you drop it down? I'm not moving it to the opposite side of the equation, I'm just combining. So it didn't come from this side over here where I had to change the signs, I'm just putting them together. That's where it gets confusing when you get these big long problems. Same thing here, I'm not going to change the signs, they're both on the same side, I'm just putting them together. Negative 8 plus 40 would be positive 32 to equal my 120. Now is when I'm going to change my signs, because I'm going to take the 32 from the left side, put it on the right side, 
that's when I have to do the opposite because I'm moving it to the opposite side of my equation. So 11x is going to equal 120 minus 32. 88. 88. Well, that, that answer sounds better. <laughs> because now when I divide by 11, x is going to equal 8. And that's what should happen. You should come up with a nice whole number answer. If you're not, there's a mistake somewhere in the problem. That's why I think she must have typed something wrong on that first one, because we didn't get a nice whole number answer, and I couldn't find where we made any mistakes. Number 12. Same kind of thing. has all those fractions in it. First thing I want to do is get rid of the fractions, so I'm going to multiply by 8. Exactly times 8, times 8 here, times 8 here. So 8 times 10 is 80. 80 is going to equal, then I'm going to do my canceling. 8 goes into 8 once. So I have 1 times 3u minus 3 plus 4 goes into 8. So 2 times 7u minus 1. So 80 is going to equal. When I take this times 1, not going to change much there, right? I still get 3u minus 3. Here I'm going to multiply by 2. So plus 14u minus 2. So again, on this one, the right side has a whole bunch of terms. I'm going to combine them. I'm not moving them. I'm just going to put them together. So 3u plus 14u would be 17u. Negative 3 minus 2. Negative 5. Now I want to solve that for u. So if I want to get the u by itself, what should I do next? So I'm going to add my 5 when I move it over to the other side, right? 85 equals 17u. And then I'm going to 85 over 17, and that should go in there evenly. Check her out. 85 over 17 reduces down to 5. And we should get that nice whole number answer on these ones anyway.